19, one of my favorite days, not the number, my favorite number is 13, but today's back day, is my hair going wild? What is that? Mm. I was just, it was so excited back because day. today is dense, five by five, you're going to get annihilated. We're doing five by five. We're doing do like seventy-five to eighty percent of your uh, one rep max for five sets of five. If you don't know your one rep max, estimate. 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 But don't overestimate because then you'll kill yourself on the five by five. But don't underestimate. Don't underestimate. And don't fake this shit. Yeah. If you're getting five easily, actually, I did this on a uh, bench day. Um, normally we do five by five, it's usually 75 to 80 percent, and I could do five fairly easy, so I bumped it up five pounds, so. After deads, um, a completely different movement, we're going to do some pull-ups, um, four sets, and go to failure every single time. Um, I love pull-ups. I love pull-ups. I can do about 20 now that I'm, uh, I'm not 300 pounds. I probably can. There, I have elbow pain. After pull-ups, after you do four sets to failure, we're going to do, and this is something we like, we're watching the trainer as we go. Um, we're seeing a lot of people make modifications to it. Yeah, and every gym it. is different because not everybody's going to have the same stuff. Some people are doing it at home. So the next exercise is something single arm. So I did, you could do a single arm dumbbell row. You could do a seated single arm cable row. Um, there's excellent machines, especially hammer strength. They're all like any of their plate loaded stuff. It's all, you can do one arm at a time. So you can do a seated uh, hammer strength row. You can do a high one, anything. So pick something and do it one arm at a time. And that's four sets of 10 each arm. Heck yeah. Uh, next up, then we got reverse grip pull down. Reverse grip pull down. Yeah, reverse yep. grip pull down. I know what it is. All right. <laughs> I just thought you made it sound like you didn't know what it was. After that, it's a T bar row, and we realized because we changed the place where we. I sold going. our T bar row. He two sold days our T bar, so you can make your own just by using a barbell and a triangle. So, just stick it in a corner somewhere, put some weight on. Stick it in. Stick it in. That's what she said. Just make your T-bar rest. <laughs> Last but not least, hit the rear delts with some dumbbell rear flies. It's just seated. Um, something that we like to incorporate is almost the uh, tapping. Make sure that you're... Little tap -a Little tap -a Give a little tappy. Tap, tap. I've always had issues with my rear delts um, because I engage my back because I grew up just lifting wrong. Um, so to actually get a hold of my rear delts has been a, sort of hard for me, um, and it's something we discovered a while ago, which is tapping on the muscle. So oftentimes we'll do just that with each tap other. Tap it in, just tap it in. Give a little tap in. Tap, tap, tap a root. What is that from? Billy Madison. Right. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. It's all the same fucking movie. Happy Gilmore. It's all the movies that I used to try to uh, come over to watch at your dorm room. That's right! With no intention of watching the movie. <laughs> so the witch your stupid roommate fell asleep. Do you think she was actually sleeping? Faking. What a creep. Give a little tougher. Tough, tough, tougher. See you guys tomorrow.